<laughs> Honey? <laughs> they have no idea. That was easy compared to what I'm going through. I come to the conclusion that whatever everybody's going through is hard for them. That's right. Amen. It's tough for them. Right. Listen, some of y'all give me some time. I said, boy, I wish I was there. Yeah. I could just fly with them. Yeah. I wouldn't have to even pray about them. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said, yeah, but you're nothing. <laughs> and they are. And think of what you're going through, where you're at, and have sympathy on them because they're going through the same thing they're, you're going through where they're at. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Nothing else. Going through something to give you sympathy on other folks. That's right. No? I may not be able to help you, but I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you expect an answer. I just need an ear. Yeah. You know? But I forget sometimes I'm needing that ear so badly that I got one. Right. Like I can bend all night long. <laughs> not only will he hear me, not interrupt me, but he has a solution for it, and he'll help me in my time of need. What more can I ask for? Yet yeah, he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. A living sacrifice, the essence of a living sacrifice is a closed mouth. Why are you going through? Trevor Mark. Mark 15. And straightway, in the morning, the chief priests had a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. And bound Jesus and carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Yippee. I'm glad you asked that question. So I can go to a long sermon to show you who I am. This one of the benedictions us sometime? Tell you about who you really are? Hmm? What do you say? I'll say it, Steve. Three words. Three words that cover a life of 33 and a half years. Better yet, it covered an eternity. I'll say it, which is no way of saying in that part of the world. Yeah. And the chief priest accused him of many things. Bill Clinton was president. He wanted to, the presidential office to have the power to pass a law The line item veto. Rather than veto entire bill, those bills take a long time to write. Given the president of the power to veto a line. Or a second the bill that they didn't agree with. And not kill the whole bill. Most bills have good things in them. That's a few, a few bad things. He asked for president of the powers to veto the bad things. It says they accuse him of many things. 
I can just see us doing a line out of veto. Well, this is the truth. <laughs> and that's not true. And talk about the proof how it is, why it's not true. You know, somebody accused you of 15 things. It's the natural human tendency to address all 15. I'm gonna tell you why number one ain't true. Why number four ain't true. I skipped to three because they were. <laughs> <laughs> why six and seven ain't true. And we would go through a series of denial and try to prove ourselves of these false charges or true ones. They accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. That's a living sacrifice. I'm not going to respond to any of the charges. And Pilate asked him again, same answers. Understand, everything in these stories is abbreviated, okay? If he gets a line, like in verse two, I thought the king of the Jews. It wasn't just that straightforward and simple. That's the gist. What was that? The only thing straightforward and simple was exactly what was said. The ones in red here got a Bible like mine, and he said nothing, or, or thou sayest it. That's the exact word. But in the black letters, the ones that the other people said, Pilate said a whole lot. And all come up to are you king of the Jews. It says here, and the chief priest accused him of many things. Now, one thing is, listen. You want know, to get an idea how many things they accused him of? They accused him of things for hours. Hours. They brought two false witnesses in. You all been in court, take time to take the stand. They got the stand, they asked the question. The false witness answered the question. Then they brought another one on me because the law said out of two or three. Witnesses, mild two or three witnesses, everywhere should be established. They brought a second witness in, and it said the second witness they didn't, they didn't brief him properly because their lives didn't correspond. Mm -hmm. That's a movie, Unforgiven. The little Bill, Gene Hatton, was interrogating Morgan Freeman. He said, Now, your lies better match his lies. I want to hurt you real bad. You know? In Jesus' trial, their lives didn't match each other. But they had liars there. Not to mention the whole council brought before him. Pilate asked him again, saying, answers are nothing. Behold, how many things they witnessed against thee. But Jesus had answered nothing, so that Pilate marveled, make the world marvel at you. <laughs> Become a living sacrifice. A lie. But sacrifice no own reputation because he did. Mark 8. I'm about to finish. unto him, with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself. Let me deny all charges against you. Not, not deny the charges, but to, to deny yourself a response to them. Deny himself. And do what? Take up his badge of suffering and follow me, for whosoever will save his life, why do you answer charges? To save yourself. Right? I'm, I'm getting a bad rep here. I want to fix my reputation up. He said, whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whoever loses his life in the accusations will save it. <laughs> whosoever shall lose his life for my sake in the Gospels. Look at the red key you've gone through over rapture. And got the situation that you can't defend. Right. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Ain't that a joke? I mean, you look like fools, and you can't even 
defend your foolishness. Gives you a seeker that's big out loud news to you and you yeah. can't tell him. That's right. He's trying to kill us. He's <laughs> trying to help him. What's in a profit of man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what's in a man given exchange for his own for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words and this the doctrines and simple generation. What do you have to prove to the doctrines of the simple generation? Okay. Why answer them? They're gonna stupid the same way. That's right. I don't want you to go to a scripture that I had never understood until now. It's in Romans chapter 8. I'll be done. Twenty-eight, the one I'm leading up to, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who have the called according to His purpose. Who works together? You. He does. He knows what you're going through. He'll take what you're going through. You keep your mouth shut. You keep your mouth shut. He has not less to work with. Make it easier for him. For whom He did foreknow, He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. That's the guy trying to make it out of us. And for us to become that, we have to become a living sacrifice. We might be like the image of his son. That's what Jesus was. He's a living sacrifice and a dead sacrifice. He did them both. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, who we did predestinate, then he also called, and whom he called, then he also justified, and whom he justified, then he also glorified. We've been there. What should we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall make anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also make an intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? So tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. What does that mean? For thy sake we are presented as a living sacrifice. As a living sacrifice, we are killed daily, all day. Learn how to die. By those who are killing you. By situations trying to kill you. Die to them. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Who else was? Jesus. It says as a as a lamb before his shears is done. You know, I, I watched some shear lambs before. And they'll stand in line. And watch that first man go in all woolly and come out skinny with no fur. And the next lamb just walk right up and just get sheared like it's no big deal. You know, I mean they shear him, you know, they come out with no with, with, with no what do you call it? Wool on. Or as a lamb led to the slaughter. I was little, so we used to buy, we used to buy meat. We buy a whole cup. We split it with another family and buy half a cup. But you go out to to the farm, and you pick your cow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful black Angus. And, uh, McDonald's kind of slow to catch up with Angus. Also, they, they think it's nowadays not there with Angus. I was eating Angus when I was ten years old. Okay? <laughs> you go and pick up this beautiful black Angus cow weighing over 1,500 pounds. You say, I want that one. And they need that cow, there's a little ramp. I went, one of them was there, picking out cows, okay? There's been several, about seven cows that day. And they, uh, if I'm the cow, I think I'm thinking about the fact that when you go up there and ramp, you don't come back down. <laughs> My, I had six friends today, you know, went up there and I ain't seen them since then, <laughs> right? And there's, there's, we're already shooting at this blood losing at the size of, of, of a little shed there, there, there. Yeah. But just walk right up. 
I got a little cow ice and got a little salad and cow ice. Got a little, this thing, I hold a gun. This how the cow stand there, this thing is automatic. Pow! Just in the head and it's all over. But I, I couldn't get her. In fact, there's no resistance. I thought, you know, again, if I was a cow, when the people come out to the farm, you know, I'm going to get out of the tree or something. Like that. <laughs> They're not picking me. They're like they were dumb. He said he wants us to be dumb. <clears throat> Where he's concerned. Act dumb. Go before the, the sheriff's blinding. Go before the slaughter. Dumb. Don't go there and defend yourself. I don't belong here. Jesus was innocent of all charges, and he didn't deny himself or any of them. What did he say? Huh? That's a really sacrifice. Read it again. This is the whole message right here. All the rest was, was leading. As it's written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted. He counts us as sheep for slaughter. That's your saved for. A living sacrifice. Let's finish up and read the text again. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world. What does this world do? The world relies on allegations. The world wants to stay in court. It wants to defend itself. It demands their rights to be in court and be heard, right? He says, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed and become earth in the world isn't. Right. Okay? Amen. The grace of God, or oh, this is a big size message. Yeah. <laughs>